Rebellion 1, St. Mirren 1. Albion Rovers 2, Stenhouse Muir 0. Alloa Athletic 0. Brecon City 2, Cowden Beath 0. Dunfermouth Rovers 1, Dumbarton 0. I mean, there is an inherent beauty in Scottish football. I mean, it's supporters with, with odd shirts on, it's um, stairways that lead to nowhere, it's arcane floodlights, it's disused toilets. Football is beautiful. My name's Colin McPherson. We're here at the Scottish National Portrait Gallery in Edinburgh because I've got an exhibition called When Saturday Comes. I don't think it's necessarily about football. I think it's about the people that go to football and it's about the architecture around them. So it's about the stadiums. It's about the kind of the routine that they have, whether they you know, walk to, to the ground a certain way. I think that is the interesting thing about football. The thing about being in a dressing room is it's not really where normal football fans ever go. Just coming in here and seeing it is actually is quite exciting. It's funny we've got all the random numbers now because these seats have all been kind of repaired or replaced over the years. I mean, I've taken photographs and I've covered matches at every level from internationals, Champions League, but my approach is always the same. I'm looking for life. I'm looking for some manifestation of how we live our lives, of the human condition. I'm really not photographing the football as such. Um, I mean, I have a kind of passing reference to it. Being able to wander around a terrace or you know sit in sit in a part of the ground which I wouldn't normally get to at Premier League, that offers the photographer so much more opportunity really to get closer to the subject. Using the camera is is almost a way of exploring the world. You can explore your backyard, you can explore you know, around the corner from where you live, or you can explore your local football club. There's always things to find to photograph. Clyde one, Berwick Rangers one. I think these clubs are important to local communities. I think they give them a sense of worth. Um, from a very basic level, if you think about it, when scores are read out on national or international radio or television, those names, the Dumbartons, Alloas, Cowdenbeaths, those are badges of pride for people that live in those places and people are proud of their local football clubs. <laughs>